Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Rockwell's Equipment. In today's video, we're going to go through some inventory levels in which you may or may not be seeing at your local dealership leading into winter. Uh, you know, there's some some things that you, you may want and that may may not be available. So we're going to go through the Kubota lineup and some of the other things that we do sell here at the dealership. Point out some key facts that you may want to know before going to your local dealership. So starting with the easiest one in the Kubota lineup is your uh, Turf Series uh, from Kubota. Again, your zero turns uh, and your lawn tractors, we're actually probably going to see quite a supply out there right now. There was a, quite a delay in the spring for these units, so what was supposed to arrive in February or March actually did end up showing up in July, August, and early September. Um, again, whether it was diesels or your zero turn diesels, GRS T series, they all started to arrive um, and are readily available. Not that you're cutting grass this time of year up here in Canada. so what is a large supply now may be shorted by springtime as right now normally we'd be doing our reorders with a six to eight month lead time for that spring delivery we have not been able to do that so what is an oversupply now may be short when it's actually needed come spring so maybe difficult in the future and we'll have an update at that point but for now uh, quite a supply on the flip side of that is whenever you're dealing with your blowers for some of those units whether it be the t-series or gr not readily available again that lead time on that is six to eight months so your local dealer might have stocked up on it they do, do deal a lot in the in the snowblower end of stuff for those uh, lawn and garden but unfortunately, if your dealer does not, it may be very difficult to get those uh, units. There's just none out there to pull from. So, so be mindful of that if you're walking into your local dealership. Uh, yes, you can go get your zero turn if you're looking for your blower for a GR. Uh, might be more difficult. So one thing that is extremely difficult to get is RTVs. The side-by-sides for the last uh, number of years since COVID really hit uh, have been difficult to, to get as the demand is far exceeded supply. That has continued. You may see a few local ones pop up at your local dealer as they kind of seem to arrive in waves where uh, all of a sudden five or six orders will be filled and they'll arrive at your dealership and then you wait another six months for your next order. There is no rhyme or reason to it. They have not told us why there's any delays. Um, they have not updated orders. We currently have some orders that were supposed to be filled in July that have no updates. They still say a, a July arrival and that's four months ago. So be mindful of that. Um, again, do not get mad at your local dealer whenever he says, I don't know, because he probably doesn't. Um, I know we, we run into that every day here <laughs> with multiple different units, but especially in the RTVs, we are not seeing any updates. Date, um, and and we probably won't um, and I could not tell you why we, we aren't seeing that communication but that will continue so uh, just be mindful of that if you're looking for a side-by-side -side, whether it's now or even for spring is uh, you're probably in for a wait. Um, so after dealing with the RTVs uh, the next one that's extremely difficult to get if not more so is anything in the construction lineup. Uh, wheel loaders, excavators, skid steers they're non-existent. Yeah there, there's no really rhyme or reason to it. Uh, dealers have really put in the orders and they have not been filled so so if you are thinking about getting any piece of construction, order now um, for a spring delivery potentially. Whenever you get into some models, um, you know, your 033s, 080s, you can anticipate a much tighter supply on them and a much longer wait time. The dealer will not be communicated to from Kubota Canada or anything to do with Kubota. Uh, they'll just be given a date and it will not be accurate <laughs> to say the least. Um, you know, is we're not getting much communication and that will be a running theme in this video is that the lack of communication is, is there and evident at the dealership level and unfortunately gets passed down to the consumer as there's very little information to give. Okay, so whenever you're talking about land pride, some things are very easy to find, do get, um, you know, your some models of box blades, blades, rotary cutters, you're going to see your local dealer well stocked um, and have them readily available and tell you, I you know I don't have this, but I can get it in a couple weeks. There's also other things that the Land Pride manufacturers that are extremely long and not getting shorter, actually getting longer to, to order. One of the worst examples of that is a grapple, um, whether it be an SGC, anything in the SGC lineup, uh, you are going to be minimum a year, uh, possibly two years to see on a regular stocking order arrive at a local dealer. It can be frustrating um, and the dealer will have to really 
stock up on it for you to see it in inventory. As demand is still high, um, we are seeing some softening in some of that as, uh, as inflation has really driven up some of the prices, especially in box blades. But uh, again, uh, local dealers should have some uh, models available. Other things are, are very difficult to get. And we're still seeing a compaction of the Land Pride lineup uh, where they're still not not making it available to order like your ditch bank mowers or or the dual headed uh, rotary cutters just not being available to order and it could be another year or two possibly longer before they even do make them uh, available to be manufactured let alone be ordered again so uh, so just be mindful that uh, probably going to be at your local deal readily available just some models um, are very long wait times if not nearly impossible to get so um, so touching base on the Kubota tractor lineup if you're looking for something under 30 horsepower so whether that be your bx's bo1s lx or lo1 lo2s you are going to see them on the market the easiest way to explain that is anything without a chip uh, one of those computer chips, which don't seem to exist in this world at all. Really easy to get. If it requires a chip, very difficult to get. So whenever you get into your Grand L's and bigger, uh, you're going to have issues. Uh, we've heard the rumor, and it's more than likely true, is that two-thirds of the Grand L's coming to Canada, have been, the orders have been slashed and will not be coming for this year. Unless something drastically changes, it's going to be difficult to get. And then whenever you move up into your larger tractors, whether it be uh, 7060s, M5s, M6s, and so on, you may actually see the tractors at your local dealership uh, still be on transportation tires. That's because we were seeing large, large issues in sourcing tires. Kubota has done a pretty decent job of, of finding them, but still you're going to see a lot more misses than hits on that end of uh, just being non-existent uh, rubber out there. So even though you may see your, your tractor on the ground at your local dealership, uh, you could still be in for a long wait time waiting for some of those attachments or tires. Um, and speaking of attachments, um, they are readily available on your smaller tractors. Tractors, um, some mower decks, or, or some, I should just say again, there, there's going to be a few misses out there, but for the most part, it, they are available. Um, again, whenever it comes to snow blowers, mower decks, uh, front blades, they are out there in the loaders as well. So, And again, even BXs, you are going to see a ton of them out there. Uh, Kubota's done a fantastic job of getting them to the dealerships for sale. Anything you're looking for larger gets a little bit difficult after, after that, so just be mindful of that. And again, we're not seeing any communication from Kubota as to uh, what we will or won't see in the coming months. So, um, so when talking about trailers, here at the dealership, we are lucky enough to sell NNN, uh, Legend, uh, and then after that, we have Weber Lane or Kubota Weber Lane. So, so four different, uh, three different manufacturers, four different lines of trailers. And what we're finding with that whole marketplace is uh, that supply has gone up, uh, they've increased their production and demand has softened in that um, you will should see um, trailers become readily available. Um, the, depending on how uh, deluxe you're looking. But again, we are seeing a supply uh, come back to what they were pre-COVID levels. So, so if you're shopping for a trailer, you shouldn't have much issue finding what you're looking for as long as your local dealership or local dealer that you deal with on trailers has ordered, um, they will be coming. Again, prices are still remaining high due to inflation um, or steel surcharges. And trucking end of stuff is still driving up costs on that end. But at the end of the day, supply will be there um, as demand has dropped in that area. So. So if you're looking for a trailer, you're going to find it. Um, so touching on the parts side of things, uh, Kubota Canada has done a fantastic job. You really got to give a shout out to them. Um, you know, number one on my list there is Curdy Hanneman, uh, who works there, done a fantastic job of making sure that that fill rate has stayed up. Again, there is always going to be a few misses out there uh, where just parts aren't available, aren't being produced, and you're going to run into issues. But by and large, if something is being made, Kubota Canada has it in stock and gets it to the customer as quickly as possible. There could be a few delays where you see in transportation or in Kubota Canada's case, they did switch warehouses from Markham to Pickering where uh, that was a big uh, big issue last year, but by and large has been uh, ever uh, ever improving on that end. You know, we have seen from other manufacturers, and I don't mean to pick on them, but they were probably the worst of them all, is Kawasaki. Whenever you're looking for just an oil filter, we went about a year not being able to order uh, an OEM part from them um, just for simple an oil filter. So, uh, you know, whenever you see somebody like Kubota being able to make parts readily available and, and here on time is just amazing. They've done a great job right through it all and will continue to do a great job as, uh, as they have in the past. So big props and shout out to them uh, for maintaining that. Um, so we sell a lot of uh, drainage products here at Huckleman's Equipment. Um, you know, some of the things you're gonna see in our yard are septic tanks, drain tile and culvert, steel culvert and plastic culvert. Uh, we deal with some pretty large companies on that with lots of production uh, plants and we are seeing a very 
minimal supply. We've seen some massive delays this spring and, and leading into summer and continuing this fall. We anticipate seeing that for the foreseeable future as well. Um, there's uh, Prices are remaining sky high. Demand has actually softened a lot on that um, because prices are so high, but the, the supply is not there and has not returned, which is very concerning because a lot of this product, if you take, for example, steel culvert, is raw material that has been shaped. Um, again, not a whole lot of uh, different, uh, there's no extra pieces there. It is one thing done. Um, you're not waiting, uh, but there is just none available. So it's very concerning that way. And like I said, it, whether it be uh, inflation or just uh, steel prices remaining high, it's not going to abate anytime soon. So just be mindful that, um, again, if you do stop in at your local dealership or have something on order, you're going to be in for a wait or you're going to be seeing some empty dealerships this uh, this fall into the winter as uh, the units are just not arriving quick enough to fill those orders. And if you do have something on order, don't get mad at your local dealer for not communicating that there is delays because more than likely they have not seen any information from Kubota Canada. I know ourselves here, there, we have seen very little information as to why we're seeing these delays and what to expect um, on our tractor orders, um, or any orders for that matter. So just be mindful that, um, again, don't get upset uh, <laughs> with your local dealer if there's not a whole lot of communication, as they have probably not received a whole lot themselves. So if you did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you.